What is up guys and welcome to this beautiful container home in Waco, Texas. Today I got a brand new container home Airbnb tour video for you guys. I know container homes are one of your guys' favorites. It's one of my favorites too. So I'm really happy to finally show you one off again in this one right behind me. It's so, so great. I love it so much. I think you guys will too. So thank you for clicking on this video and let's just jump into the tour. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. This home is on Airbnb. We are located in Waco, Texas, the town of Fixer Upper on TV. You might have seen it. And right now I am on this piece of property that has like 10 container homes on it. It is a really awesome little community. I'll be doing another tour of one on this property as well next week. So stay tuned for that. If you ever want to come check this place out, check out the link down below. Also, if you want to save $40 on Airbnb on your next day, sign up using my link down below. Anyway, today we're at this one specifically. It is a single 40 foot high cube container. It is eight feet by 40 feet. So I believe that is 320 square feet. And they made the outside of this container. It looked really beautiful. They added this wood all around it, except on the ends, they painted them black. They kept the doors on them really aesthetically nice and if you might notice on the outside you got a spiral staircase right in the front that leads to the top patio they just took the entire top portion of this container and made it into a nice patio area I don't understand why not all container homes are doing that because that is a genius idea and it makes it look really cool from the outside. This is a great place to hang out at or just overlook your entire area, which right behind this home is a nice pond and you can just really get nice views of the sunset or sunrise from here. Going back down the spiral staircase, you have this front deck area and that leads to your front door and we'll just walk right inside this beautiful container home. This container home is really done up nicely. I would suggest anybody that's doing a single unit container home to check this place out and take notes because this home is really done up nice and beautiful. The aesthetics are everything in this home. It's really open and bright. There's lots of windows when you walk in and that adds and means a lot to a home like this one. But the first thing you encounter is your kitchen. Now you got the lighting from this door and you got the lighting from this window that's really lighting up this kitchen and the white wood walls really reflect all this light and they even did up the ceilings. I love these wood beams that are spaced throughout the entire home it really adds that texture and dimension to your area but back to the kitchen you got lots of white cabinets lots of countertop space you got a little seating bar area over here that is done up nicely and, and it's not just something that collapses and folds down and you have to take out the setup for a seating area this thing is sturdy and you can fit two people here really comfortably you have a couple open shelves up here above that don't crowd the area they're pretty small but they do what they need to do which is hold your dishes the sink is really large and nice it's black so it's contrast with everything in the kitchen i love that and if we just continue going down you got a full coffee area because you can't go wrong with coffee you always got to have coffee am i right and right below all this is of course your cabinet space you got your nice little mini fridge you got a microwave and you got all your drawers that you need that have all the utensils i can see i'm pulling them out you got all the utensils you need in these drawers, cooking supplies, everything. Really nice kitchen and it feels really open. To the left of this, you got your wonderful living area. It takes up about half of this home and I think it is done up perfectly. It's really spacious. They chose the right furniture and the right decor pieces to fit in with this place to really make it cozy and to make it not feel like you're just sitting in a box. The couch they chose was perfect size and comfort and they put it up all up against the corner right here so you're not wasting any space. You got the nice TV right here, perfect size for how far away you are and perfect head height actually. Not a lot of people get that right. Sometimes they put the TV too high or too low but this one's like right, right where you need it to be. And of course you got the windows that surround this living area and you can never have any lights on and you'll be perfectly fine unless it's nighttime of course and when that happens you got these blinds and you just close them up there's also a guest book that you fill out whenever you stay here this is the best guest book i've seen because they list out questions for you to answer where did you go where did you come from why did you come here and that's way better than people just saying thanks for letting me have me and other guest books this one lets you really know where people are coming from, what they're doing. I actually got a few ideas from this book, where to go in Waco, which was wonderful. There's a park that's a bamboo 
forest. It's incredible. We also went to downtown Waco, which is home of the Magnolia Silos. I would highly suggest checking those out. There's a whole bunch of other things to check out downtown. It's really great. This is my favorite area I've ever been to, actually. Take that for what it is. Literally less than a mile, you could walk to this Homestead Farm area that you can eat breakfast and lunch at, and there's just paved walkways everywhere, there's flowers everywhere, and there's woodworking, there's pottery barns, there's blacksmith areas. This place looks like it was taken out from a couple hundred years ago, and it's still in operation today, and they let people roam and tour it, and it's super cool to check out. You could spend a whole day over there, and you can literally walk to it from this place. So, out of all of the Airbnbs I've been to, this is the best destination-wise. There's so many things to do. I would highly suggest that out. So now let's head on to the other half of the home. You walk through the kitchen, you walk through this hallway. Like I said, typical layout for a container home. You enter your bathroom on the left with the sliding barn door so you don't waste any space opening up or closing doors. You walk in, in this bathroom, is beautiful it's stunning and one half is your huge shower it's really nice size you're not cramped at all with this vertical subway tile i like the vertical instead of the horizontal and subway tile is great of course with the black accents all in the shower it is wonderful now on the other side you got your toilet and your sink wonderful size on each one they don't feel crammed or mini they're not really mini sized which is awesome and you got a couple of shelves above the toilet which they provide some things you might need on your stay here. Now if you didn't bring any bathroom utensils on your stay, this place has it all. They got the toothbrush, they provide everything. Wonderful, love this bathroom. It even has a little window above here, love that touch. Now we just exit the bathroom, you walk into your bedroom with this other sliding barn door. This bedroom has two windows at each side that flood in that light, that juicy light, and with the bed right here in the middle, you can go on each side, perfect for two people. It has little nightstands on each side as well. It doesn't take up a lot of space. They knew how to do this correctly. And the white wood along the walls and ceiling just continue through this bedroom. And the wood accents from this bed are also cool. You got lights on each side as well for his and hers. If you wanna have the light on and not bother the other person, you can do that. And also at the end of the bed, you got a little closet space area to hang up your clothes, to store your stuff. It has a couple of things in here as well that you might need, but pillows, blankets, can't go wrong with that. And of course you got a huge mirror on the opposite side of this barn door. This bedroom has it all and I loved it a lot. The aesthetics of this entire container home are something to really note if you're trying to build something like this. Let's just take a quick side note and explain how important it is on how you decorate and lay out your home and make it feel high quality and everything useful. Some homes are not that way at all. I used to be a real estate photographer and some homes people just don't understand how to lay out their home and how to decorate. The style you choose and the pieces you use to decorate and where you place them really matter on the vibe of the home because you can instantly walk in and tell if the vibe of the home is right for you or not. And a lot of times it's not. Both an Airbnb, you have to nail that on the head because you have to stand out from other people. And this is a small home. You gotta make it right. You can't have those weird empty spaces. You can't make it feel too crammed. So it's really an art form to really piece this together and make it flow and feel perfect and not crammed and really comfortable and cozy. So if you're ever looking for that, this one's definitely a good example because I know container homes are kind of popular at the moment. I would love to build one myself, so. And also, let's just take a back look on the outside of this. I've never seen one where they added wood for the container but you can clearly tell it's a container home which is what I love this doesn't feel like a trailer or something that people might think or have a stigma about this feels like a tiny home and it's a container which is really cool you can either do that or I would suggest looking at other container homes and really finding how it looks appealing on the outside because some don't look appealing some literally look like they just took it from the shipping yard and brought it to their home and just put it up on stilts or something it looks really silly the way you present the outside also matters a lot and this home really nailed it on the head so thank you guys for watching this video and share it with somebody that you would want to take here with and explore Waco. Share it with them, send it to them, say, hey, let's go in the summertime. Leave a like on this video and leave a comment as well. What was your favorite part about this entire home? Mine is definitely the patio that is up above on top of this place. I think that is awesome. I love being outside and seeing things, so 
that is really important to me. They did this really cool spiral staircase. It's super cool. I love that. I also love where this home is located. Uh, Waco, Texas is definitely a place to come check out. If you have an Airbnb container home or even a home that you just live in that you think deserves to be shown off, shoot me a message down below, send me some photos, and maybe we can work something out. And for those of you that have messaged me, I have seen those messages and I might have not reached out to you yet because I'm, I'm going to the area maybe later in the year. So just stay on the lookout for my messages. Thank you so much for reaching out to me though. I highly appreciate it. And guys, I'll see you next week with another container home video. Stay on the lookout.